Hello everybody. In this Python Pandas tutorial, we're going to go over a few different ways that you can use apply map and apply map. Let's go ahead and jump right in. You can use apply to apply functions to your data. So the first thing we did here is we imported pandas and numpy. Next, we created a series. Let's go ahead and run it and take a look. So here we have our index labels ABC and our data values 5, 10, and 12. Now let's say that we wanted to create a function and apply it to these data values and get the square of all these numbers. One way we can do that is we can create our function, we'll call it square, and it will return all of the series numbers to the power of 2. Now to apply that square function, let's go ahead and create a variable, we'll call it s, squared def equal sign let's reference our series dot apply and we'll put in our function now notice that you don't have to put in the function round brackets okay let's go ahead and run this let's copy our variable and take a look at the new output so here we had our original data set 5 10 12 and here we have all of those numbers squared. Let's go over another example. In this one, let's say that we wanted to take these values and just add some number to all of them. Let's go ahead and create our function. We'll just call it add number. For the first argument, we'll put in x, and that will represent all of the elements of the series. And the next argument, that will be the number that we want to add to all of the series elements. Then we can return x plus whatever number we put in. Now, to apply this function to our series elements, let's create a variable and we'll just call it s add number def equals, go ahead and use s to reference your series, a dot apply. For our first argument, we want to go ahead and put in the function name add number, next let's put in args equals, and we want to use the tuple syntax and put in the number that we want to add to all of the series elements. So let's just put in five comma. So let's go ahead and select this and run it. Let's clear our console. Let's take a look at our original series. Let's copy this variable, paste it, and take a look at the new outcome. So if we've done this correctly, we'll have these numbers, 5, 10, and 12, all with 5 added to them. Okay, so that looks good. If you add 5 to 5, 10, and 12, you get 10, 15, and 17. So in these examples, we used regular functions. Now you can also do these same types of things with lambda functions. So let's go over an example of that. Let's go ahead and create our variable. Let's call it s squared lambda. Now let's reference our series, a dot, apply. Let's put in our lambda function. So we just type out lambda x. What do we want to do with x? We want to raise it to the power of 2. And that should raise each element of the series to the power of 2. Let's go ahead and select it and run it. Let's copy our variable, clear the console. Here is our original series. And then here is the output using the lambda and the apply. OK, so we squared all of the elements of the series. Here's our original series. And here are all of those elements squared. Another thing you can do with apply is to use numpy functions. So let's create a variable. We'll call it np for numpy func equals reference our series dot apply and let's put in our function numpy log. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's copy our variable and take a look. Here are the original values. And here are the new values with the numpy log function applied. 
Next up, let's go over some examples where you use the apply with data frames. Okay, so here's our data frame. Let's go ahead and run it. Take a look. Now, just like with the series, you can use a lambda function with the apply. Let's go ahead and create a variable name, data frame apply, equals, reference your data frame, apply, and once again, let's just go ahead and use a lambda. Now in this case, what we want to do is to take all of these values and just simply multiply them by two. So to do that, we can use lambda x. What do we want to do with the x? Let's just multiply it by two. Let's go ahead and run everything again. And let's take a look at our output. Okay, so you can see here, we have our new output, which are all of these values multiplied by two. Let's go ahead and pull up the help screen for apply. And you'll notice that the default argument for the axis is zero, but you can change that. So let's go over some examples of that. Let's go ahead and create a variable. We'll call it max zero and that will use the zero axis. And then let's create a variable called max one, and that will use the one axis. For max zero, let's reference our data frame, dot apply. Let's put in the max function, and let's set the axis to zero. For max one, data frame, dot apply, max axis one. Let's close this, run our code, clear the console. Let's take a look at our original data frame and let's look at max zero and max one. Okay, so using the zero axis, you'll notice that we get five, 10, and 15 for the maxes. So what that is showing us is the largest number going down the rows for each column. So we can see for A, going down the rows, the largest is 5. For B, going down the rows, the largest is 10. And for C, going down the rows, the largest is 15. Now, if you use the axis 1, you'll notice our output is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that is showing us the largest number going across the columns for each row. Okay? Let's move on to our last example for the apply. We're going to go ahead and pull in some CSV data that's on our desktop. Let's take a look. So here we have some movies. These are some of the top grossing movies of all time with the title Revenue and Year. So let's go ahead and pull that in. Let's use pandas.readcsv. Let's put in the path. We know it's on our desktop. And let's get the name with the file extension. Let's go ahead and run this and take a look. Okay, so we've pulled in our data. We have the movie title, revenue, and year. Now one thing you'll notice is that this revenue is a little bit hard to read. And what we want to do is add the thousands separator. And one way to do that is to use the apply. So let's reference our movies. Let's create a new column. We'll call it thousands separator equals movies data frame. We want to reference worldwide revenue. Put that in the square brackets inside quotes dot apply. Let's use a lambda function. And let's go ahead and use our thousands separator string formatting. Let's go ahead and run it. Clear the console. Let's put in movies data frame and take a look. Okay, so you can see that we have our thousands separator column added, which is the revenue with the thousands separator.
Now, one reason you might want to do it like this and add an extra column instead of actually changing this column is if you try to perform mathematical operations on this column, it might give you problems. So let's show you an example of that. Let's go ahead and use a print. Reference your movie's data frame. We want to use this column header name. And let's just say we wanted to add 500,000. Now if we select this and run it, you can see that we get an error. Must be string, not int. Let's clear that. However, if you use this column and put that in instead, now this should work. And it appears to have worked. Next, let's move on to map. So you can use map to map values or functions to your data. Now, quick note, map works with series. However, you can use map also, for example, to manipulate your data frame columns. So let's go to the map pandas documentation real quick. And the example given, they've created a series here and here. And to map those series, you just simply use x.mapy. Okay, so that's an example of using map with series. However, some of the more interesting things you can do with map is when you use them with data frame columns. So, we've gone ahead and created a data frame. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's take a look. So we have some apples and oranges and their weight. Now one thing we want to do is we want to use map and add an extra column. And for each type of fruit, we want to add the texture. So for oranges, we want to add bumpy, and for apple, we want to add smooth. Now we've gone ahead and created that mapping here with a dictionary. So the oranges are bumpy, and the apples are smooth. Now let's go ahead and use our map. Let's reference our apples oranges data frame. Then in square brackets, let's create a new column for the texture equals let's use our apples oranges data frame again now let's reference the label column and we can use our map and inside the map round brackets we're going to use our dictionary that we created earlier so that the appropriate texture is mapped to each fruit so bumpy for orange smooth for apple let's just go ahead and select all this and run it again Next, let's copy the variable, paste it, and let's take a look at the new output. Okay, so we have our original columns here with the fruit, the weight, and now using the map, we added the texture. Now, one more quick thing. As we mentioned earlier, this says map values of series. However, if you copy this and you take a look at the type, you can see that we get back series. So you can use map with series and you can use map to do certain things with data frame columns. Okay, let's go over another example. We're gonna go ahead and use this employee's data frame along with a map to add a new column with the new salaries of all these employees with a 10% raise. Let's reference our employees data frame. Let's create a new column. Let's just call it raise one. Reference the data frame again. Now let's go ahead and reference the salary. Dot map. Let's put in our lambda. And what do we want to do? We want a 10% raise. Let's go ahead and run this. And let's take a look at the output. So you can see here we have our original salary. Then here we have a new column using the map with the lambda to give us the new salary with the 10% raise. 
Now, of course, you probably wouldn't use this to add the 10% raise because it would just be easier to do it like this. Okay, so we added another column, we called it raise two using this code here, and we get the same output. However, it's just good to know that you can use map with lambda functions. Let's move on to our last example with apply map. So here we have our data frame. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so you can use apply map to apply a function to a data frame that is intended to operate element wise. So in this case, what we want to do is use apply map with a lambda to add 10 to all of these numbers. Let's create a variable. We'll call it add 10. Let's reference our data frame. Let's use apply map lambda and add 10. Let's run it. And let's take a look at our new data frame. Okay, so here was the original data frame. And here we get the output from using the apply map with the lambda to add 10. And you can see that all of the new output has 10 added to the original numbers in the data set. So that's all we have for this Python Pandas tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.